Hello everybody, welcome back to the Centitar Fragrance Channel. So good to be back here today. This is where we review fragrances, colognes, perfumes, and all things scent related. So thank you so much for stopping by the Centitar Fragrance Channel. If you're new to my channel, a big welcome to you. And if you're a subscriber, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for coming back. So let's talk about Cedrop Boise by the House of Mansara. Now I know it's been a good bit since I promised to review this fragrance. Some of you have been holding out. I hope I haven't offended anybody. But this fragrance, I had to give it some time. I had to really test it on my skin and really, you know, develop my thoughts about this fragrance. It's quite interesting. It's a, it's a really good fragrance overall. And now I got my thoughts together. Today's the day we talk about this fragrance. If you don't know much about the house, I encourage you to get out there and explore them. They have some really good offerings. I hope to be able to bring more of them, you know, to you in the future. Anyways, besides the point, let's talk about the fragrance. First off, the fragrance does smell really good. Um, you do get a fragrance that's similar to Aventus, no doubt about it. This fragrance does smell a little bit like pineapple in a way. Now, this fragrance doesn't have pineapple in it, and that's what confuses people so much and leads a lot of people to say perhaps this is a Aventus clone. So in the first minute to three minutes, the I believe there's some of the oiliness of the lemon with the citrus and that sharpness that comes off the lemon along with that this interesting black currant note that really doesn't have any of the dark berry or dark component of you know black currant as it can so that makes this the that fruity accord more transparent more citrusy and definitely can resemble pineapple to the nose so but at quickly you'll notice especially on the skin if you test it that this fragrance isn't a vintage clone and that there's a lot more to it now, I was noticing that there was this beautiful, rounded nature, a smoothness to this fragrance. I couldn't put my nose on it. I had to go to Fragantica, and it says it's a water jasmine. Now, this is a very transparent jasmine, and kind of the most unisex jasmine perhaps I've ever encountered. It's blended very well. This fragrance overall is blended very well. It's really hard to pick notes out of it. But you will, especially on the skin, notice that there's a little bit of this musky quality. It's a very clean white musk, so it's not offensive, it's not hard to wear, it's not going to put anybody off. But there is this, li this little, just feeling, little aura of muskiness to this fragrance that just gives it a little bit extra sensuality. Musk and jasmine is a beautiful, you know, intoxicating combination already. So you got this fruity accord, this beautiful sweetness, there's a little bit of vanilla just hidden in there, and then you've got a, like a beautiful clean musk, and a sandalwood that pops in, and that jasmine. This, this fragrance really does have a really good beautiful scent DNA to it. You also will notice that there's a clean leather to this fragrance. Now this leather kind of an hour in or so is kind of noticeable but in my in my experience it dies off quite quickly it just helps this fragrance have a little bit more of this unique fullness a really good composition full bodied not syrupy not too heavy but definitely for a fruity fragrance uh, definitely has a body behind it and those florals definitely help that water jasmine for sure so overall smells fantastic no doubt about it let me know if you like me going in depth with those, you know, the fragrance itself or not. So let's talk about the projection longevity. So this fragrance, one reason people talk about so much, why so many people want reviews and want people to talk about it is because this fragrance performs and it performs very well. This fragrance on my skin performs 8 to 12 hours. Man, Sarah fragrances are very potent. Just, just like Montal fragrances, they perform very well. So with that kind of concentration, so more of the base notes, usually, just like this fragrance, it doesn't project extremely loudly, then that's kind of a good thing, especially if you're gonna be wearing it for a long time. But this act fragrance actually pushes out a good bit. I wouldn't say it's beast mode, but this, this actually projects well too. So overall, this is a very good performer, an excellent performer, no doubt about it, from the house of Mansara. So compliment factor wise, again, that this is a beautiful smell overall, a light, well-rounded jasmine, a beautiful fruity accord that's really interesting and beguiling, kind of like pineapple, but there's more to it. A very slight sweetness, 
and um, perhaps a tiny bit of dryness from vanilla. Then you get this um, clean and uh, ki kind of standard leather note, but it's so blended in so well. And that musk just gives this fragrance a little bit of an aura and extra sensuality to the prettiness of this fragrance. And that's what I'm going to say about this fragrance. This fragrance is a very pretty fragrance, just like Kalinga that I love and I'm not sure if it would be best on me. Perhaps I should leave that to the ladies. This is a fragrance I believe that is unisex. You guys definitely can pull this off, but perhaps this is a fragrance for a confident lady. A, <clears throat> a beautiful fragrance that, that a lady definitely can pull off. If you, you know, don't like the, the price tag of Aventus for her, you know, by Creed, or and uh, perhaps you don't want to go for any of the clones ladies or you feel like the clones are too masculine this is one of those that if you are intoxicated by the smell of Aventus by Creed definitely check this one out I do say that pineapple vintage intense is a beautiful unisex fragrance and I would say that this one leans a slightly slightly feminine just that's just the tiniest bit but it's definitely very close to being unisex Anyways, it can be a real compliment getter. It lasts a very long time. It's noticeable. It's it's a beautiful fragrance overall. I can't say enough good about it. So overall, <clears throat> with the uh, with the price, I believe the price is about 150 or 180. <clears throat> if you get a really good deal, you can get this about 80, 90 dollars, maybe 100 dollars for this fragrance. But um, <clears throat> my final thoughts with this fragrance with the price is that it's excellent i would give it a solid eight out of ten no doubt about it that this stuff smells quality it lingers it has a full body to it it uh, smells fantastic and it's very versatile for just about any situation any time of the year it's not too sweet and i really do like a, a fragrance when it's able to pull off a unique sweetness without being too much now, again, that's just my personal opinion that it's better on ladies. I know some guys you out there probably rock this fragrance. If you didn't like the oak moss or the smokiness of Aventus at all and wanted a really good performer, definitely check this one out. This is a very good fragrance. It needs a lot of love. It deserves the hype or the little bit of hype that it gets. I hope that more reviewers talk about this fragrance for the summer and you know, just upcoming in their top 10 reviews or, or whatever it might be. Now again, that's just my opinion on it being slightly better for women. Definitely a good unisex fragrance here. So thank you so much for being here today, sticking around, watching my videos. If you have watched, you know, till this point, please give me a like, a subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video if you'd like to. And in the comments below, let me know how this fragrance sounds, if you have experience with it, or simply what is your most, uh, your prettiest fragrance. That would be fun. Talk, let's talk about the prettiest fragrance you have in your collection. So thank you so much for being here today and watching my review of Cedrup Boise by Mansara. So again, before I let you go, we have to say wear what you love. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making this channel a success. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one and bye.